Okay, thank you so much, Will. Uh, like Will said, my name is Trevor McDonald. I'm a Marine Safety, or I'm, I work for the Huntington Beach Fire Department, Marine Safety Division. Um, my title is Marine Safety Captain, and uh, I'm here to talk to you today about the implementation of the Watchtower Lifeguard Data Collection System. Um, so just real briefly, uh, Huntington Beach, um, we have 13 million visitors uh, that visit our beach every year. On an average summer day, we, em we employ 75 guards to protect um, our coastline. We guard six miles of coastal shoreline, and uh, we also guard our inland harbor waters and beaches. Um, so that's a little bit about us before we get started, but essentially we're here to talk about data collection and uh, the software that we're using. And it was really a process for us. So um, just a few years ago, we were, we were just pen and paper um, and we were tallying up um, our stats and, and we were kind of essentially getting them at the end of the day. And when we first started thinking about uh, tech in um, marine safety and in the in in our operation, we were kind of thinking of that same that same module where okay, we just need a faster way of just just submitting this stuff at the end of the day. And as we started to um, work with the Watchtower developers, we realized that it was going to be so much more beneficial, uh, like. Will had mentioned earlier and some of the other presenters had mentioned earlier to get this live time stats. And so um, that's really where, where, where we move to. So let me transition, let me see if I can uh, change my slide here. Okay, so we transition to tech and um, we're, we're using this, this, we're partnering with Watchtower and they're helping us to create this custom software specifically for marine safety. And, and that was something that was unique because you know, in the marine safety world, it's oftentimes where we're, we're using stuff that was meant for maybe fire or police and uh, not specifically for marine safety. So um, figuring out something that's going to um, bring value and support our operation um, in a way that's not going to be cumbersome or, or more of a hindrance versus providing more value. That was something that was always at the core conversations um, when we were uh, moving towards this implementation of using this new tech. Um, and so, yeah, how are we using the, the collections? How are we currently collecting the stats? And it's every single stat that our department collects is live time. It's linked to um, weather um, specifically for that time. So surf height, uh, just the water temperature, the tides, the air temperature, all of those things are getting uh, automatically attached to every stat uh, that that we're submitting and then also we're doing this this uh, essentially this like quick tap system so we're, we're being able to submit stats extremely efficiently and that was that was always how can we make this a, how can we make it faster and get more information every time we we submit those stats and that's that's really the problems that watchtower helped us uh, solve as we were looking to to implement this into our own operation so uh, today essentially the systems that that where we're using tech is we're using it in our dispatching and stat gathering. We're using it in our, our report generation, our department communication, uh, document storage, and essentially we're going to talk about public outreach and how we're using the stats to then communicate with uh, our community. So uh, let's dive into the first, which is dispatching. Um, so we initially had this quick tap system where we could say who we are, what type of call it was and what our location was, and we can submit those um, at any time. But but we needed we as the as we move forward and as we continue to learn um, what was going to be the most beneficial for our operation, we moved towards this full dispatching uh, platform. And the dispatching platform allows us to um, connect our units. Um, the type of call, the location, and then we can submit it, and it and it it'll essentially create a call. And so when it creates this call, it has a call number. Um, it indicates in route, we're getting um, how long it takes us to get to calls, how long we're actually on the calls, how long it takes to complete full calls. Uh, the dispatching uh, platform now, is allow now allows us to add mutual aid to calls, uh, such as fire, police, outside agencies, um, additional lifeguard units. Uh, we can also add additional lifeguard towers for mass rescues. Um, and then also any specific type of notes um, can be placed in there. Um, and then one of the other features that, that was uh, recently added that was, was beneficial to our operation was the ability to star calls. So 
Um, on the left of every single card call that's generated, you can essentially star a call and that will indicate to the duty BC that there's a call that has just come in that is uh, worth him knowing about. So we wanna make sure that, that um, when there's these major calls coming in, that they've been notified. So it's another feature. Um, something else kind of unique, we're on this topic, so I'll talk about it, is uh, a challenge that we talked about was being able to differentiate between if this is a wintertime dispatch or if this is a summertime dispatch. Is the tower staffed uh, with a person and that unit that's dispatched, are they assisting that tower guard or is this in the wintertime and is the unit responding to the area in which that tower is located and we're using that tower as a location and then that, that unit operator is making the rescue or the preventative action or responding to the medical aid. And so differentiating between all of those things and keeping these consistent stats um, has been very beneficial, um, obviously, for, for our operation. Um, so um, let's see, as we move into uh, the next one, so report generation. Uh, so we, we've talked about how we're gathering our stats, uh, what goes into our stats, but now report generation has been huge, uh, just like some of the speakers earlier. Um, and, and I believe Will talked about the way in which we were just doing tallies and tallies. We had to add it up and it's, it's, it takes time. And, and with this new tech, we can just, um, with a couple uh, buttons, we can create reports and we can create reports on single resources, single lifeguards, we can create reports on just specific towers. We can do it on sections of the beach, the entire beach as a whole. Um, the system allows us to, to um, have automatic emails uh, once a year, once a month, once every two weeks, whatever we determine of all the stats. And uh, one example specifically to Huntington, um, last year we put, a, when, when, when COVID hit, we had a huge influx of people um, using the waterways and the beaches and the harbor. And so we put a boat in service at the harbor. Uh, we, we then gathered all of our stats and uh, we had these reports that we could generate just, I mean, at the, just really quick and we're, we're, we're generating these reports. The boat ended up being the busiest unit um, in our operation for a specific time period. And uh, then these reports we were able to send to management, to our chiefs, to the city administration, and, and they were able to use these reports um, to help educate them to make decisions to help our operation in the future. And it ultimately uh, resulted in having that boat now um, full time this year. So um, we're excited about that. So, so it is having a, a positive effect on our operation of having the tech um, as involved as it is. Uh, one of the one of the challenges, I know we're talking about challenges, um, is back here, if we go back to the dispatching, if we have too many people entering stats in different ways, then there's a potential for um, inconsistent stats. That's the challenge, right? And so what we've done is we're gonna have all of our calls start and stop with our dispatchers so that we have the same people that are entering those stats at all times to get the most consistent statistics as possible. So that's the way that, that we're moving. Um, obviously every department is gonna be different on how they choose to, to use tech, um, but that's what we've decided to do and it seems to be working pretty well for us. Um, so department communication, um, one of the things that um, we use all the time is uh, we used to use just text threads. Um, and uh, we would text the people working, hey, here's some, here's some uh, updates for our operation today. And now with this tech and with Watchtower, we've been creating this bulletin in which now um, we can put all of the department stuff in one place. So when you log into Watchtower, boom, we have all that. We have our stats, we have our bulletin, there's a messaging system, and then uh, document storage as well. So this is an example of what the bulletin could look like. Um, and then over here, we have all of our document storage. The problem or the, the, the problem that we're solving with the document storage is that our seasonal employees don't have access to our city uh, computer systems where we're storing our SOGs, um, our special notices, um, all those type of things. And so now um, with this document storage, we're gonna share all of that there. Um, and then all of the employees are gonna get logins um, so that they can then access all of this information. Um, and then as we move on to uh, the last topic and kind of close things up, um, it's super important on how are we using this data that we're collecting. So um, in addition to it being beneficial for our operation, 
uh, we're moving forward with Watchtower and they're creating um, a public safety dashboard for us to use our, our to use all of our stats and, and help with community risk reduction and help with uh, just basic information about our beach, beach parking, um, aquatic risk factors, uh, stingray risk factors, frequently asked questions, things of that nature. So um, that's something that, that we're working with them right now on and, and we're pretty excited about that as well. Um, so with that, I just wanna say thank you so much uh, for having me and um, I look forward to all the other presenters as well. And thank you, Will.